So I decided to bring it back to the place where it all started, my college campus, getting a good little shoot around here as I prepare to eliminate the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference semifinals. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Onto the Boss here. We're here in the Western Conference Semifinals and obviously we have a 3-1 lead against the Phoenix Suns and we're looking to close this deal. So as you can take a look at the schedule here, we're up 3-1. Dallas already advanced. You have Chicago and Miami. Miami being up by 3 of the games to 1. And you have Boston and New York tied up. Welcome to the Western Conference semifinals and a possible closeout game. Looking at the Black Mamba's face, you can already tell he's looking to close the deal here. He's all set to go. I'm all ready to go. Hopefully, I have a good shooting game. And we're just going to see what happens here in the Staples Center. In game five, a chance to stand at Smash and at the point. And for the Lakers. And JaVale McGee wins us the tip off here. Kobe Bryant right off the bat controls the ball. Then he decides to give it to his daddy right here. And I've been doing this move a lot on Steve Nash, which is like posting him up. That way I draw a lot of defenders. And here I did find JaVale McGee. He takes it inside and he has nowhere to go. So he kicks it back out with shot clock ticking down. And I get that mid-range shot to go down. So that's how we kick off the game. And we have a 2-0 lead here. Now Brandon Roy on the other way now, controlling the ball. And Steve Nash trying to cut inside. Brandon Roy finds him. I go for the steal, but that one is a fail. But JaVale McGee denies Steve Nash. So we're on a fast break here. And Kobe gets a nice dunk. And that's going to be on the Sprite Slam Cam. Replay here. Sprite Slam Cam showing it once more. Yes, sir. column on the win side. I get a bad pick right there. It doesn't work out. And I see Battie cutting in. And I get my first assist. So the Phoenix Suns are already off to a bad start. It's only a five point game though. Steve Nash right here trying to do everything he can and finds Warwick cutting in for the alley-oop. It's eight to nine now. Both teams struggling to score here. Steve Nash finds his teammate wide open for the three. He misses that shot there. And for us, final possession of the first quarter, I give it to Crawford right here and Crawford shoots that one. Good look. But that doesn't go down as well. So that's how we ended the first quarter here in the Western Conference semifinals. So here we are in the second quarter. We're down by two points. And I'm posting up Brandon Roy. He has nowhere to go. And I get that layup to go down. Tie ball game. 20 to 18 now with two minutes remaining. I'm cutting inside. And I also see Randolph give it to him. He pump fakes inside. And he has some nice post moves. We're up by four, four points here. I'm posting up Brandon Roy once again. I find Randolph wide open for the mid-range shot. And we're up by three points here. And Steve Nash, I'm trying to cross him over. And I'm doing my post move here once again on him. And I see JaVale McGee cutting it inside. And with 30 seconds remaining now, Steve Nash takes it inside and finds Fry wide open for the three. And he gets that one to go down. Next possession now, we're only up by two points here. Another post move on uh, Steve Nash, but that one doesn't work here. So I try it again, and he has, you know, he's denying me. And I give it to Kobe Bryant last second, and he gives me the assist right there. So third quarter is usually the point of the game where I try to, you know, take a huge lead. But in this one, both teams were pretty much going back and forth. As you can see, the score is only 28 to 26. Both teams not scoring so well. But I do go to the line here to give my team a four-point lead. But again, Steve Nash did a good job keeping the team in here. And it wasn't so tough in the third quarter. So the game is all tied up here. Two minutes remaining. Posting up Steve Nash once again. Take it inside. Get fouled. And I have an opportunity here to make this a three-point game. 
using his speed to get that shot off. Definitely, I agree. I mean, sometimes it forces you to be a bit more creative in that situation. Free throw is perfect release. Now, things got really bizarre here. I get substituted out in the fourth quarter. Once I checked in, I don't know, something happened. 54-37 to 37 is the lead, and you could say I pretty much have secured his victory here. But you never know what happens. Things always happen in the fourth quarter. But with two minutes remaining, two minutes, 50 seconds remaining, I'm pretty much trying to do what a point guard does, and that is hold on to the ball, you know, take a lot of time off the clock, and not take as many shots as I did right there. And we should be able to get this victory here, which means that we will be advancing to the Western Conference Finals. And once we win in the Western Conference Finals, we are going to be playing in the NBA Finals, which is big, considering the fact that this is my rookie season. So both teams are, you know, playing poor here. Crawford finds me wide open for the three, but this one doesn't go as well. But at least my teammate grade went up. So now Aaron Brooks right here is going to try to do something here out of nothing. And he's taking it inside, puts the shot up, and that doesn't go down. So now we are on a fast break. I see Crawford on my right. And I see Jefferson on my left. I was hoping that Jefferson takes the shot, but he freezes up and he gets a kickball. And that's the possession right there. So now we're having substitutions. And we're going to see who's checking in. JaVale McGee checks out for us. And um, only two minutes remaining right now. So we're holding on to the ball, trying to get something going here. And I lose the ball, so now Brandon Roy is on the fast break. I sort of wanted to foul him here so he won't get an easy dunk right there. But obviously, my teammate score goes down again to a B-. minus. And still 1 minute 50 seconds remaining. I have 10 points, 5 assists, and I've committed 2 fouls. I leave Steve Nash wide open there, and he makes me pay for it. But now I'm left wide open in the three-point line with shot clock ticking down. Well, they're just and trying to run the wide now. I and mean, this thing is pretty much over. Yeah, there's nothing but the result to be determined. Um, so it's Phoenix time to start thinking about the next game now. are pretty much out of it. Yeah, and you can tell that because Steve Nash is holding on to the ball. Oh, here's Nash. And the team pretty on. much gave up here. And now with Brandon Roy, shot clock ticking down. He's guarded by Kirk Conrad. I would think he would take it inside, but he doesn't here. Puts up the shot. And he gets that one to go down. And that is pretty much your goal game. Go Todd gets one last shot of the season for the Phoenix Suns. And I get the ball here inbounded in. And I put this crazy three-pointer up hoping that it goes in. But that doesn't matter because we are advancing into Western Conference Finals. And in the next episode, you guys will find out who I will be facing. That'll do it for now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Holland. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA Western Conference Semifinals here on 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents your player of the game. Ooh, I'm fired up, man. Great win for us this series. I really felt like I stepped up my game. And it made a huge difference for us in keeping them on the ropes. Man, sometimes I just get into the mindset where the game is mine. And if I can do that next round, we'll be moving on again. Huge, huge game tonight, baby. Looking forward to getting back out there and doing it again. You feel me? Let's go, people. Comment and tell me what you think about this video. And if you haven't done so, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more gameplay.